Hello to all my fellow e-bike riders. I am really happy with my Sonata Austin e-bike. Today we are going to look at the heart of the Austin. The battery, the lithium-ion battery is an older style of e-bike battery called a silver fish. This style is rock solid and adds to the overall reliability of the Sonata Austin. The battery is 48 volts and 14 amp hours. Personally I always want more amp hours but 14 is excellent at this price point. I do not see anything on the website or actual battery about a UL rating. It does however carry the European CE rating. So the battery conforms with the health, safety, and environmental protection standards of Europe. The charging port is on the right side of the bicycle. There is a sliding plastic cover over the port. You have to pull it up slightly with your finger to open it. Do not use a key or metal object to slide the cover. Be careful when you plug the charger into the battery. It only goes in one way. Only use the charger that came with the Sonata Austin. Another charger may look similar but not be an exact match. On the top of the Sonata Austin battery there is a power meter. Press the white and red button once and the lights will give you a general indication of the charge level of the lithium ion battery. Most e-bike batteries do not include this feature so a big thank you to Sonata for including it. The key to the battery is on the left side of the bicycle. The key has three positions. The on position locks the battery in place and powers the bicycle. The off position locks the battery in place and shuts off power to the bicycle. The unlock position retracts the locking pin and allows the battery to be removed from the bicycle. Before we get into removing and installing the battery, I want everyone to make note of the locking pin. With the key in the off or on position, the locking pin is extended and the battery is locked into the bicycle. With the key in the unlock position, the locking pin is retracted. You have to push the key in slightly to move from off to unlock. Only with the key in the unlock position can the battery be removed or installed. Always ensure that the key is in the off or on position while riding the bicycle. Next item to take notice of after the locking pin is the lever under the saddle. Pull this lever up to release the seat and swing it upwards. You can also just loosen the seat post quick release and pull the entire saddle and seat post completely off the bike. Okay, we are finally getting to the good stuff. Let's remove the battery. Lift the seat lever and saddle up. Switch the key to the unlock position. Firmly but gently pull the battery up until it is completely free of the rear rail. Here it is from a different angle. When putting the battery back into the bicycle I want everyone to remember two things. Make sure the key is in the unlock position and make sure the rear rail is lined up properly with the slot on the back side of the battery. Gently slide the battery in place and give it a gentle but firm push at the end to seat the connections. Then put the key into either the on or off position. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments. If I do not know the answer I will try and reach out to Sonata to find out. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more e-bike content that is on its way. I did use a voiceover, but I wanted to make sure everyone could hear me clearly as this battery information is fairly important.